We're here at 32 Gull Point Road and just want to give you a look up and down the street here. Down to the left will be the uh, way that you would get to, to the beach. And then down to the right is where the uh, community tennis courts are. You can kind of just see it in the distance there. Um, a few mailboxes up and it's also where the marina is. Uh, here's a look at the front of the property. It has a nice curved garage or driveway. Very attractive looking home. I'm here at about three o'clock in the afternoon, of course on a winter day, so the sun would normally be up higher uh, in the sky. But um, let's go in and explore. You have some nice definition with the with the wall here to the front yard. I like the pavers that uh, that you see in in the, the cement here and then leading up to the brick front porch which is very handsome. Nice front door and coming in you come into into tile tile floors here with an inset of carpet in the yeah in the main living room area. Nice bevel tray in here with the fans. Gas fireplace. I believe it's gas. I'll double check that. And then built-ins on, on the side of the fireplace. Love these doors that go all the way across the back. And here's a look back at the foyer. It's just, it's a very nice entryway here. And we'll go to explore down on this end. Well, let's go this way first. So you come down, down the hallway and come into your family room and kitchen area. You have a bath here that connects into one of the bedrooms. Formal dining here, which is a little heavy with the wallpaper, uh, but that's that can be easily changed out. This is some nice space, again, the pool table may be a little bit overkill in this room, but it, this could be a really very, very lovely room. Plenty of space and then able to open it up to the outside. The kitchen is, is very nice. Nice newer white cabinets. Smaller Sub-Zero fridge. Lots of storage space in these drawers. Very ni nicely constructed. And a nice view out the back. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. Gas stove. Microwave down below. And then you have an oven here and a small oven here, which is kind of cute, with the, the prep sink, wine cooler, and ice maker. Coming back past the dining room is the laundry. Good sized laundry. You have some attic access in here. They have an extra fridge in here. Front bedroom with crown molding. It's not a large room, but, but functional. It's a queen size bed. And then you have another bedroom here. This is an awfully big piece of furniture in here. Quite frankly, I think it's too big for the room. The carpeting, though it doesn't necessarily look like it, is actually very nice. We have a nice tub shower combo in, in here with a newer vanity and top and then crown molding. But you can see without that big piece of furniture this room would work much better. They may have gotten it in here and realized that, I don't know. 
Um, now, you have one of these HVAC systems in here that looks very nicely nicely maintained. Everything in the home looks, looks nicely maintained. Not a huge garage. Um, you can see it's big enough for one, one car comfortably. Lots of bikes. Um, you know, if this car were moved over a little bit, I think you could do two cars. But they clearly keep this down here. So yeah, you have space over, over here, and you'd have room for, for two cars. Looks like they have a water softener down here too. Ooh. <laughs> Turn that light back on. And then coming out of the garage, you have another storage closet here. And these are all solid doors, as you would expect. This is definitely the golf room. But it, and, I, this would be a great room for a uh, for a anything, including a pool table. It could be a, a media room. It could be exactly what it is. Plenty of room for, for kids and grandkids. And has a full bath in here with a shower. So th it's a, they obviously have it set up for for kids and displaying, I'm sure, where this fellow has played golf over time. This is another look at this smaller bathroom that is oh, that's off of the, the bedroom. So this has, this is the walk-in shower that's in this bath. So this looks in good condition. And as we head down the, back down towards the front door, come over here into a study. That could be a bedroom if you if you really needed it. I don't think that you would. We'll go upstairs before we go to the master and to outside. The upstairs has a great amount of space up here. So nice big bedroom up here with its own bath. And again, crown molding. In, in the bathroom, and this is a tub shower combo unit with a decent sized vanity, little built in drawers over here. And then this room's a little dark, sorry about that. Coming into this room, and hopefully the, the wall color translates, it's just it's a tan color. You have a closet back around the corner, and then a bath that is connected to that room, which has a tub shower, or sorry, a shower, and nice vanity. Nothing fa real fancy um, in these baths, but nicely done, and again, you can tell that they're well cared for. And then last but not least up here, you have this beautiful room. That overlooks the marsh out, outside. Tons of light coming in here. And all very private. Uh, you really don't feel the neighbors at all.
or at least I have been in my couple times of showing the home and a uh, short time here today. So coming back down, we'll come back through the main living area. And into the master suite. Where we have his and her nice deep closets. And a nice big walk-in shower. soaking tub and then a private commode in here and a linen closet. Then this is access out onto the uh, out to the, to the outside but here's your master bedroom with the bevel tray. Nice big windows looking out again very private. They have a screen that would come down but it's extremely private out here. And then looking out to the backyard. This, I may have to take that out if it were me, but, um, but you might embrace it. Since between this and the closet, you really wouldn't have to do a, a lot of furniture in here if you didn't want to. Let's, last but not least, go outside. Take a look back, coming from this direction. The living room, or the family room and kitchen. And then coming outside, I love the brick out here. If you really wanted to, you could, I would imagine, screen this, screen this in. Um, and have one main door maybe going to the outside or just leave it as is. I would leave it as is and put a, if they don't already have one, just put a, a misting system out, out here to keep the bugs away. Um, but I don't think that you'll, the nice thing is on this, out here on, on the marsh, um, you do have, have some nice airflow out through here. So this is nice. I'm sure that's a fire pit down there. So you have plenty of space out here to enjoy the yard. Feel very privately tucked in here. Hot tub and then a good size pool. So I hope this gives some perspective and uh, gives you some something to think about with a 32 gull point. And I will talk to you soon.